Dear students, in the present session, we discuss a topic extensively used in econometric analysis, namely model selection criteria. Model selection criteria. As we have discussed earlier, a researcher may be faced with the problem of choosing from competing models. Then to select the model which is considered as the best, one has to use some criteria. So model selection criteria enables a researcher to choose the best model among a set of competing models. Also, as we discuss time series econometrics later, this model selection criteria, also known as the lag selection criteria, is very important for determining the optimum lag length. So, let us discuss in brief some of the criteria used for choosing from among competing models. The commonly used criteria are one is R square, the second one is R bar square, the third one is Akai information criteria. Akaike information criteria, Akaike information criteria, a fourth one is Skavars information criteria, and a fifth one is, is Hannan Quinn information criteria. information criteria and there are many other criteria. For lag length, these criteria, Akeige's information criteria, Skawa's information criteria and Hannan Quinn information criteria are used. The first is two we have already discussed. Anyway, for the sake of completeness, let us start with R square criteria. We know that in a multiple linear regression model, R square is equal to ESS by TSS, also equal to 1 minus RSS by TSS. R square is a measure of goodness of fit and we have studied what is R square, what is the significance of R square, what are the limitations of R square as a measure of goodness of fit and we know that R square lie between 1 and 0. Closer the value of R square to 1, very good is the fit of the sample regression line to sample data. Closer the value of R square to 0, the fit is very low. And we know that R square is only a measure of the goodness of fit of the sample regression line to sample data. Sample regression line to sample data 
it says nothing about the fit of population regression line or uh, coefficients, their uh, significance, nothing. It has nothing to do with the classical linear regression model. Anyway, to compare two models on the basis of R square, as we have suggested, the dependent variable must be the same, sample size must be the same. Explanatory variables can be any number, any form, no problem. But the problem with the R square is, it is a non-decreasing function of additional regressors. Stated differently, when an, an additional regressor is included in the model, R square invariably increases and never, never decrease because R square is a non-decreasing function of number of regressors present in this model. So if uh, you have two models, one with the one explanatory variable, another with the two or three explanatory variables, then R square from the second model will be larger than R square from the first model. So you will have a temptation to choose the second model on the basis of R square. But this is not a good procedure. This is because it imposes no penalty on additional regressors. So to take into account the number of regressors present in the model, we use R bar square, adjusted R square, which we have defined earlier as 1 minus sigma u hat i square or RSS by degrees of freedom for the k variable model n minus k divided by TSS by n minus 1. TSS by n minus 1, r bar square. And we have shown that in general, r square is less than or equal to r bar square. R, r, sorry, r bar square is less than or equal to r square. And even though the value of r square is between 0 and 1, r bar square can be negative. If r square is 1, r bar square is 1. If r square is 0, r bar square is negative. Such a possibility we have considered. And we have discussed these topics in detail earlier, so I am not planning to discuss it again. Remember this, if your criteria to choose among from among competing models, then you choose the model with the, the highest R bar square. Choose the model with the highest R bar square. And remember this, R bar square is relevant if and only if you have competent, competing models. If you have only one model, there is no question of choosing from among these models. So no issue is involved, but when you have competing models with a different number of explanatory variables, then R bar square is a criteria, other things being equal, and you can choose the model with the, the highest R bar square. And as we have discussed these topics in detail earlier, we will not uh, discuss them now. And uh, this n minus k, n minus 1 the degrees of freedom associated with RSS and TSS. These are used as penalty factors for introducing additional regressors. This degrees of freedom is a penalty. Degrees of freedom adjustment is a penalty for introducing more regressors. More regressors. Now we discuss these three. These three criteria are extensively used in applied empirical analysis for large selection and uh, is available in all the software packages, eViews, Gretel, Stata, etc. Now let us discuss what is the Akai case, Akai case information criteria, Akai case information criteria. 
Remember this, r bar square is 1 minus rss by n minus k divided by tss by n minus 1. This was also written as 1 by 1 minus r square into n minus 1 by n minus k. This is the penalty factor introduced. Now we introduce a k case information criteria written as AIC. A k case information criteria as a model selection criteria. And um, <coughs> this criteria is written as AIC is equal to e raised to 2 k by n sigma u hat i square by n is equal to e raised to 2 k by n into rss by n where k is the number of regressors including the intercepts and n is the sample size number of observations. If you are using time series data, n will be replaced by t. Then it becomes e raised to 2 k by t divided by rss by t. And using log ln aic is equal to 2 k by n ln of e raised to 2 k by n plus ln of rss by n. Now this 2k by n is the penalty factor. 2k by n is the penalty factor in this model. Now since in the software packages this is what is calculated as AIC. There is no need to put ln before AIC. What do you see AIC? What do you see as AIC in the regression packages is nothing but ln of AIC. And as you can see compared to R bar square, AIC imposes a harsher penalty for introducing more regressors. And when you compare two models, on the basis of AIC, the criteria is select the model with the lowest AIC. Lowest AIC. This is different from R bar square. In the case of R bar square, we select the model with the largest R bar square. But in the case of AIC, select the model with the lowest AIC. Now, <coughs> Remember this, AIC is used not only as a criteria for selecting from among competing models, AIC is also used, AIC is also used for lag length selection in time series econometrics. Lag length selection in time series econometrics. And in the software packages, what we see as AIC is ln AIC. So there is no need for using ln AIC in calculations. It is what we observe. And the criteria is select the model with the lowest AIC. AIC is used not only as a model selection criteria, it is also used as a, used as a lag selection criteria. And uh, you need not worry about the calculation of AIC because all the software packages will give you the values of this AIC, that is AIC. Now, let us consider the second one, that is SCOWAS information criteria, SIC is equal to n raised to k by n sigma u hat i square by n is equal to 
n raised to k by m rss by m and in log form ln sic is equal to k by n ln n plus ln rss by n by n where the penalty factor is k by n ln l is the penalty factor and sic imposes more harsher penalty than aic 2k by n and like aic this sic also appears in log form in the packages log will not, you will not see log in the package package will simply report aic sic etc and remember that this is what is reported in the package is ln sic and ln aic and as in the case of agaiga information criteria sic is also the same you choose the model with the, the lowest value of sic choose the model with the lowest value of sic and like aic sic can also be used to select from competing models and also uh, and also to determine the lag length the third model selection criteria that we consider is hannan kin criteria hannan kin hq information hq is, is equal to ln sigma hat square plus 2k by or i simply write it as ln rss by n ln rss by n plus 2k by l this is not simply ln hnn q ln hnn q criteria 2k n ln of ln n again like aic and sic hqc is also used for selecting from competing models here this is the penalty factor the procedure is same choose the model with the lowest value of hqc and re regarding a choice between this model selection criteria there are no hard and fast rules regarding which criteria is better than the other you can choose agaiga information criteria hannankin criteria or skavas information criteria depending on your choice remember this this information criteria is used not only for a lag length selection not only for model selection they are also used for lag length selection and also remember that in these three cases we select the model with the, the lowest value of the lowest value of sic aic and hqc unlike a r bar square and r bar square is not extensively used these are the criteria used and in all the softwares you will see the criteria the value of this statistics model selection criteria and you can choose the model on the basis of this criteria and uh, when we apply this criteria <coughs> especially for lag length you will get uh, different uh, lag lengths as suggested by this criteria then we have to make a decision uh, about which criteria should be used and that we will discuss in the context of time series so remember this criteria and as we will as you will see this criteria extensively in softwares